of Woodward Canyon, Thomas. All right. So you know what? We, we've had the intro. Yep. Now let's kick it up about 27 notches. Let's do All it. Right? Let's fire away. All right. First, we're going to do Artist Series. Artist Series 09. All the reds were cha- these. All three of these are 09 vintage. Really classy. Um, not super hot vintage out of Walla Walla. And what's nice with that is you get really high def aromatics right out of the gate. And these 09s have been rocking since we released them. So the Artist Series. Um, both this and the old vines primarily shampoo vineyard fruit, which we're a part owner in, along with Colcilia Creek and Andrew Will. How big is shampoo vineyard, roughly? Oh man, the whole thing's probably about 130, 140 acres. I mean, that sounds like a big chunk of product, but it's not in the scheme of things. In the scheme of things, it's not. No. Um, and then the old stuff that we we work with, um, just the three of us work with, it, like the old blocks is like maybe. 30 acres, and actually they're doing some replanting up there, so actually actively it's less than that right now. Replanted because of phylloxera? Um, no, replanted just because we got some, some of the vines, um, well, you know, they were almost getting to the point where they were 35, 36 years old, and we got some new clones um, from France, Cabernet clones, that we thought would work really well on this site. Okay. So it's not, we didn't take... Not everything got torn out. They were, some of the places you were just taking out like a row or two and, okay. and replanting with this with these new clones. I hate taking out old vine stuff, unless I, it really needs to be taken out. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It, this, it looks kind of graveyardy. It's kind of actually it's pretty sad. All right, tell me. Uh, yeah. First, uh, uh, artist, this artist series eighteen. Yep. First the, one was nineteen ninety two. Does he do it every year? Mm-hmm. And okay. it's, every year, what we do is we um, work with a Pacific Northwest artist, and we purchase one of their original pieces. So oh, it's hung up in the... Uh, that one hangs in our tasting room, and then cool. we sell all the related pieces. But the thing that's cool for collectors and for us is um, we don't take any gallery cut. So all the proceeds from the art that we sell off our walls go straight back to the, uh, to the artists that we're working with for that entire vintage year. So it's, over the years, it's been an awesome way to support regional artists. Well, you know, I mean, you got to look at Rick and Gary Small, or Gary Figgins, all those guys. You know, they've been there for a long time. They have, a, you know, they have quite the following... So, you know, right now it's a passion of theirs. It's, like, yeah. it's not like a new guy coming in having to make all this money. Right. It's established labels, brands, and, and be able to give back. And I'm sure the older guys are, are giving back. Yeah, and that's one thing. I mean, you know, Rick is on his dad's side is third generation farmer, fifth on his mom's, and God, we're sorry. native Walla Wallans. So it's native Walla Wallans. Yes. Indeed. All right. What's the blend in this thing? Uh, Roughly. Roughly, you're looking. At, I know you're looking at 76% varietal in terms of cab, and then in descending order, you've got um, Merlot, Petit Verdot, and Cab Franc. Now, is there a law up in uh, Washington State that you have to be over 75% to be varietal? Yeah, is that's it? federal. Um, right. Oregon, the only place that is different is anything that comes out of Willamette Valley, and that's actually been legislated by the um, Oregon Oregon State Legislature. So for, in Oregon, for Burgundian varietals, Pinot, Chard, whatever, it's uh, 95 and then all Bordeaux varietals at 75. Okay. Washington, Excellent. 75 across the board. Retail roughly on this? Uh, just uh, about 55 bucks. 55 bucks. That's a, that's a nice specialty wine right there. Yeah. That's, that's very nice. Well, I tell you guys, the integration, the flavors, the vanilla and the tannins, it's just a delicious wine. All right. Let's, uh, let's kick it up a notch even more Going through to the, the old, uh, vines. old vines. Old yeah. vines, how old? Um, these blocks off of Sagemore and Shampoo, uh, Early as 1972, between 72 and 79, basically. Case and, production on this thing? Uh, that one was about 600 cases. All right. But this is this is the absolute. This is gets top billing in terms of Cabernet at, at, uh, at Woodland just, Canyon. Just the, the the aromatics on this. And I should have yeah. brought out my big Cabernet glass. I apologize, but this no, is it's cool. And this is uh, one thing that having been at the winery for a long time and tasted stuff that's that's shampoo vineyard based over the years. There's this really wonderful almost like cassisi dust that you get on the nose and that is a dead ringer for shampoo vineyard it's one of the few places where you're like oh man that's that's that shampoo yep so this is um this one's just about 100 percent varietal it's just got a little bit of petit verdot off the estate yeah i get that yeah got a little bit of petit verdot i gotta say yaks and beans <laughs> right just just a beautiful wine though man yeah I'm it's rock it out oh all right all right to finish up the uh, 09 estate reserve and is this a wine done every year? Not necessarily. Okay. This is going to be um, the very best off our 42 acres um, that we farm ourselves. Um, all certified sustainable, also salmon safe as well for us native Northwesterners that have a soft spot for the uh, 
the Salmo Salar. They, they have to go up to the Snake River. They got to right, start right, yeah. right by you guys. What was the retail on this one? Uh, retail on that one is uh, about mid 80s. Okay. And yeah. then we're talking this one? Uh, about like low 70s. All right. Yeah. So they do, they keep kicking up a couple notches. The case production is going, but you guys have probably one hellacious email list. It's pretty big. I mean, you know what, with all your loyal fans over the last 15, 20, 25 yeah, but years. Yeah, you know what's cool is that we still have people, we still have old farmers that don't even want to do email, and they just show up, and they still <laughs> they still come in with a check that's like written. Nice. You know, they already know the amount, and yeah, they come in and get their get their couple of bottles and go on their way. So yeah, I mean, we're, we definitely try to cater to both as much as you can anymore. But uh, I love this wine. This is the It's mostly Merlot-based. A little bit of with Franc, and then just a smaller component of Petit Verdot and Cab Sauv. But all native yeast fermentation and a complete statement of place. Short of us, you know, growing our own oak trees and making our own barrels. This is pure Woodward Canyon. So this one here, is it always going to be predominantly Merlot? No, it, it, it's there's no sacred cows as far as the blend goes. Some years, if the Franc is showing really well, we'll feature that. Some years, one year, like in 2001, it was cab based. It was almost like we actually could have almost labeled it, varietally labeled it a cab had we wanted to. But um, no, the idea is, is you're just going to show off whatever's best from the given year. All right. Yeah. I think that's awesome. You know what? Uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. And it's been a pleasure for, for Joe. Thank you very for, for much for bringing, for bringing him in. And uh, Thomas, I wish you the best. And you know, why don't we do something this winter time? Uh, we're going to be traveling a lot more. I know I've got, we've got a trip going out to Napa to interview yeah. a bunch of people. But I'd love to come back to Walla Walla. Cool. And and hit the big guys, you know. If I can get to Quisilda Creek and 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 you know and uh, Lee and Eddie and you guys and just like maybe even have a little round table, just all all the all the old guys sitting around. Because when I when I worked at Mondavi, Robert would be there and Peter would actually come over when they were talking again. And and there was a bunch of the old guys who would come over, Gil Nickel, and they'd all sit around and the stories that they had. Yeah. You know, and they're at an age now where they don't care. Yeah. You know, when you're younger like us, we care a little bit, you know? Yeah, I, I sort of care. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we can, we can work on something. Yeah, I, I think that'd be kind of good, get, get a nice, nice, nice little filming of everybody there. Anyway, guys, I know you have to run. It's been my pleasure. Thanks Thank for, for bringing in such great wines. Guys, if you want these wines, they're available right here on the website and uh, probably at your local fine wine shop as well. Thanks, peace out, and we'll see you in a minute.